One. Marcus Campbell, one. Can't afford to miss the blacks off the spot. Might have been a bit fortunate here. The one near the pink spot, that'll go, but... Uh This is the first time, of course, uh, we've seen Ding Junhui this season. But uh, there just seems to be a little bit more maturity about his play, Danny. So I just felt last season he'd have gone for a pot there. He's, uh, he's had a let-off. He missed a black or a red that gave Marcus a chance, which he wasn't punished for. So he won't want to be leaving too many because if Marcus Campbell was to win this frame then 2-1 in the best yeah that was a good point you made there John playing to the crowd I remember the great Mario Bernie from South Wales who passed away sadly he was a great character great philosopher and he, he used to say what helps you this game of Snooky says if you can beat your own ego and it's so true yeah and that ego was a fair player wasn't he <laughs> no but it's true it's true sometimes you you just feel tempted to try one shot too many bought cushion so this isn't a straightforward safety shot for for ding There's another great safety shot from this young Chinese player. Acknowledged by Marcus, tapping the table there. Just a little bit. Pace. He had to hit it finish, otherwise he would have cannoned the red that's to the left side of the table there. And caused it a bit too thin. It looks as if he's picked out a shot to nothing, the one near the pink spot. There's a couple of other reds available, but this is a, a safer shot, and if it goes in, it can drop on the ball colour. I think he went for that mark, I think, and the only red he could leave was the one he was playing. Because he just screwed back a couple of inches, and the blue covers the the red there. That was the one that he wanted to make certain Ding didn't have a go at. So I don't think he's left anything. Not a bad safety. 
He's put him on the right side of the table. Might be able to take this on and get round that red that's on the black spot. Well, I didn't think he could get enough of that red, and in the end, he got too much of it. Is it too thick? <clears throat> again being patient but there's no easy safety shot well he's going to play safe off that one near the cushion watch the side on the cue ball here <laughs> so this time he might have to play that red to the right of the pink and show us his cue power. One. Need to cue well to be able to pull that off. In fact, he said it too well. Greenville. Marcus Campbell won. Well, that was a pretty good path he found, but just catching the, the brown full in the face has left a chance of a pot. <coughs> it's whether it's worth the risk. And of course, that is the problem when you're playing someone like Ding Jun Wei. It puts pressure on your safety and on attempting pots like this. If it was to knock this red in, it's just by the green. It'd be nicely on the pink and it'd be a frame winning opportunity. But if he misses it, then it could be the end of match. So decision time. Well, how close was that? I mean, there's so much pressure in that shot, and he just, well, he more or less in. I thought <clears> I'd got that, and um, what a chance it would have given them, John. Yeah, well, it, as I say, it was decision time, and he made the decision, and he went all out for it, and you can see on his face, he thought it was in, and I think we thought it was in as well. Just a fraction, and that's what this game's all about. And if it had he gone in, every chance he'd have won the frame. It's not unlucky, it's just the way the game is. It's just a fraction out. One. Doesn't have to worry about the black. There's enough Seven. reds and pinks available. There's already 27 in front. So we can get a nice few points on the board here. Thanks. 
8. That one in. Yes, and that's why he's not got good position on the next red. Fourteen. That didn't go clean into the pocket. So this red possible, but it's missable as well. Fifteen. No problem. Next shot may be a problem if he plays the blue. I don't think he's got the angle on the blue. Well, he's getting down pretty quick, so maybe he has just got a slight angle. And he did. That shot wasn't as easy as he made it look there, to be honest. 20. With you. The stun and forced the cue ball down on one of these reds. Played it inch perfect. 21. So he's now 41 points in front. Pot the pink, 47. Still a possible 75 points left on the table after this pink, so... It's not a straightforward run to the winning line. Big favourite, obviously, but... 27. A little bit of work to do just yet. But what he does do, he looks so comfortable and relaxed out there, and his tactical games very good also and he hasn't taken any risks whatsoever and when he's in this sort of form he's going to take some 34. beating as you mentioned earlier John he's sort of cut out those risky shots that he used to take on all the time still 35 all out attack but he's doing it at the right time in front, 59 remaining 41, so that red that nearly went in for Marcus and just stayed in the jaws, looks as though it's cost him and particularly 42. now with that red going in It's fair to say that Ding Jun Wei got the perfect start in the first frame. 48. His first chance, he made a break of a 110. Made a 54 in the next. And Ding Jun Wei, 48. Red will master. I think Marcus will shake his hand and say, well played. Nothing much you can do about that. Ding Jun Wei looks at the top of his game to me. And he's one of the major 